Hi everybody, my name is Nate. Welcome to Georgia Aquarium for another Field Trip Friday. We've been partnering with other attractions across the city of Atlanta to bring you guys some educational content while everybody's staying safely at home. You'll notice I have my, my mask, my, my gloves, my personal protective equipment to make sure that uh, we do our part to limit the spread of this virus. So we're here in River Scout Gallery in a pretty cool exhibit that displays mangrove forests. So we've got a nice group of of species that live in mangrove forests in Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. Um, we've got some monos and some scats and some archerfish, which are the species that I really want to show you guys today. We've actually got two different varieties of archerfish. We've got clouded archers and we've got banded archers. And they both have a pretty remarkable skill that allows them to access food resources that these other fish just don't have access to. You'll notice I've put some krill up on the window. And these archer fish with their really, really acute vision can see that krill sticking up there on that window and they want to get to it. And remarkably, they have the ability to shoot a blast of water out of their mouths and knock that food off of that surface so that they can, they can consume it once it hits the water. Now you'll notice that that gives them a pretty remarkable advantage compared to these other fish, the scats and the monos, because those guys don't, don't have access to those same food resources. In this case, they would be the entire insect fauna that lives in the canopy of the mangrove trees. So let's get, let's get a good look at how they do this. So they have a groove in the roof of their mouth, and they use their jaw muscles to force water through that groove, and amazingly, they have really, really good aim. If we sat here and, and watched these guys for a long time, you'd notice that they rarely miss when they fire these jets of water. So mangrove forests are really, really critical ecosystems. They, they do really great things for fish populations, allowing juvenile fish to grow up in relative uh, freedom from predators. They also protect coastal communities when it comes to typhoon storm damage, they can really mitigate the, the, the force that waves hit the coast. So it's, it's very important for us to conserve mangrove habitats. See if we have any more takers to show off their stuff. You'll notice they kind of approach the acrylic slowly, kind of looking upward and they can really line up those cannons and let it fly. In some cases, archer fish are able to to shoot insects off of leaves that can be eight or ten feet above the surface of the water. So it's a, it's a pretty amazing skill that increases their chances of surviving when food resources in the water may sometimes be poor. So an, an adaptation for survival for these archer fish for sure. So I, I mentioned that we had two different species of archer fish in this habitat. Um, clouded archers and the banded archers. So there's, they're very similar. They have the exact same shape. But the clouded, instead of having black bars, kind of have black squiggly lines on their sides. And one thing that's interesting about the clouded archers is that they actually spend a lot of their life history in fresh water. So this habitat is what we call brackish. It's a mix between fresh and salt water environments, kind of like an estuary where a river meets the ocean. We find brackish habitats that sometimes have highly variable salinities. So they're both adapted to living with salt in the water, but they can both live in completely marine habitats or completely fresh habitats, which is a pretty, pretty handy skill as well when you, when you don't know whether rainfall is going to be heavy, so the water is going to be fresher in coastal areas, or whether it's going to be light and that water is going to be saltier. So these guys have developed all kinds of really interesting adaptations to live in their coastal habitats. And there's a good one. It's just amazing to me. It never gets old. I've been feeding these guys for years, 
And every time I do it, I have a blast. And I miss you guys that are at home. A lot of times, we have a whole gallery full of people, and they're all cheering these guys on because everybody loves to watch them feed. So I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I do, clearly. And make sure you go online, check out atlmuseumsathome.org and get all the great content that all of these attractions in Atlanta are putting together for you guys at home. I appreciate your time. We'll see you next week. Stay safe, guys.